Hello, here we have the Powermaster 3000 SL Pure Sine Wave Inverter. It's got a 30 amp solar charge controller built into it with a 100 amp max battery charger and it also has a UPS function. It delivers 3000 watts continuous at 240 volts because we're in the UK here. It peaks out at 3500 watts for 30 minutes, 4500 watts for 3 minutes or a grand total of 6,000 watts for 5 seconds. Let's have a look at the display. Okay, the display here is just currently showing that it's got an AC input plugged into the mains and what it's doing now is bypassing the whole inverter side of things and delivering the mains straight out. But it's also power sharing, they call it, using the charger to charge the 12 volt leisure battery we've got currently connected up to it and that's displaying it's charging at 14.3 volts 14.4 volts with little uh, status indicator light just to the left of that on the right hand side it's got a power monitor with the charge current and I think because it's only charging at the moment of 4 amps nothing's displaying on the power monitor but that also is the inverter output percentage from 5% right up to 200% because it can deliver 6000 watts. Uh, bottom right is the on off switch then we've got the 25 amp breaker, a remote control option, the soft run stop button and then you've got the function buttons right there and through those they can be set to um, accommodate your different needs for that on the bottom left is the solar panel input with uh, four little status LEDs in that to display the amount of current coming in with your solar charge controller so um, on the display here we've got a current charge of 14.3 volts uh, input of 233 volts 234 volts and the battery charge status it's in absorption mode at the moment let's have a look at the back end of things now now okay because i only picked up the unit yesterday it's all a bit slapdash at the moment but i am trying to be safe as best i can but um the battery is connected currently through a bit of twin and earth which is um the two and a half milli twin and earth that one there and they go straight to what I believe is called Anderson connectors and they are 175 amp a piece Anderson connectors there the solar input just behind there they're 50 amp ones there you've got the AC input AC output that's for the charger in and then mains coming out there those green terminal blocks there are actually relays you can set different functions that trigger the relays for example low voltage high temperature and they can trigger relays to activate fans you know uh, low voltage lights etc like that you got a big vent fan just on there in the back okay here's a quick um, interesting function right there just above the battery voltage display there's a little LED status called equalize this is a setting that you can set up to force about 15 and a half volts DC into your lead acid batteries and what this is designed to do is to get the electrolyte fluid all mixed up and it's designed to clean the lead plates as well you can set the timing it pushes out the 15 and a half volts. I'm a bit sceptical of this because I've never used it before and in the instructions it does say it can cause an explosion because of the excess gas being produced. Uh, I will be investigating a little bit more into this but at the moment I'm just going to keep it standard. Um, I think I've limited the charge current to about 10 amps I think or something like that which is ample 10% of my 110 amp hour battery okay here's something that I want to try in the instructions it says the UPS takes a maximum of 20 milliseconds to switch the relays over so I've got this old PC connected to the inverter 
that's running from the mains going through the bypass coming to the AC out so I want to see if the computer stays on basically so what I'm going to do I'm going to disconnect from the mains the inverter is going to kick in and then we're going to see if the PC stays on all right ready to trip okay the mains is disconnected the inverters kicked in and the computer has stayed on so that's quite impressive that really well I'm actually quite impressed overall with this little unit well I say little it's actually taking up about half of my coffee table but I only bought it last week off eBay used came the other day didn't really know what to expect but yeah I'm actually pleasantly pleased it's eventually going to be put into like a backup power system for my house in the event of a grid failure I can actually live off grid for a couple of hours at least um, maybe when I get a few solar panels going I can prolong that but it keeps the television going keeps the lights on keeps me happy yes so um, I find it all very interesting so there'll be a few more videos to come wiring this into my house see how I go with a generator transfer switch etc etc but uh, I'll catch you later